Well, some roads in Kapowan will be switching to a vegan diet of sorts for the remainder of the winter. Yeah, the South Dakota DOT will uh, be test driving a new de-icing material that's made from beets. As Perry Groden reports in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, it's part of the ever-changing chemistry of how crews treat roads when the weather turns bad. Workers at the South Dakota DOT shop in Sioux Falls are loading up a gigantic salt shaker. It's fairly cheap to make and it's very, very effective. This bubbling sodium chloride cauldron supplies DOT trucks with the salt brine they spray onto icy roads ahead of winter storms. You dump rock salt in there and you add water and it dilutes the salt down and it comes out salt brine. DOT workers can make more than 3,000 gallons of this salt brine an hour. 24 hours a day. Last winter, they produced nearly a million gallons of it. As soon as we're done with a snowstorm and if we use a bunch of brine, we put a guy back here day and night making brine until we can get us supplied back up, our outlying shop supplied back up. Wet salt is a proven method for de-icing roads, which has a better track record than dry salt, which can bounce off the pavement after it's applied. Primarily, it's used for pre-wetting the salt that's coming out of the trucks. Um, and that's something that we didn't do 10 years ago, but it's um, through research and other talking with other states, we, there's a lot of benefit to doing that. The water also activates the salt, so it's ready to melt the ice as soon as it hits the ground running. So as soon as our salt hits the road, it's already in the melting process and it just speeds it up faster for melting off the roads. DOT engineers are seeking new ways to improve treating highways while offsetting the rising cost of road salt. So a low sodium diet is beneficial to all. Your mom always told you to eat your vegetables when you were growing up. Well, that advice also applies to the menu for South Dakota roads this winter. Not a big fan of beets. I don't even know if I've ever eaten a beet, <laughs> to be honest with you. But DOT engineer Travis Dressen <laughs> won't turn up his nose when it comes to serving beets during a winter storm. You know, a person almost looks back and thinks, why didn't we think of that five or ten years ago? <laughs> the DOT has tanks ready to be filled with a product called beet heat, which uses the sugar from beets to create a hardier and stickier snow melt. And what sugar does is reduces that freezing point. It lowers that so it um, doesn't freeze quite as quick. Um, it's a stickier product, so it, it tends to um, adhere to the salt a little bit better. It, it, we get a little better residual effect, so when the winter conditions are done, we still get some benefit from that material being able to stick to the roads. The DOT will be giving beet heat a trial run to decide whether it should take root as a permanent de-icer. Through the decades, crews have gone from sand to salt to wet salt to scatter onto slick roads, and DOT engineers are always looking for the next breakthrough in treatment wherever it may lead them. I think we need to be open-minded, go out there, try these products, evaluate them, um, give honest feedback, and if it's something that's providing benefit and value to us, then it's something we need to continue to do. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Perry Grove. So interesting. Dressen says beet heat has shown promising results in states like Minnesota. Right now, the product is on order for South Dakota. And here's how you'll know when crews are applying it here. The spray that comes out of the DOT trucks will look darker than the wet salt they apply right now.